Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Lori. This is Real Bargains. That's right, Real Bargains. These are the bargains that people are finding. People like you at thrift stores, yard sales, estate sales, all over. Everybody's given me permission to retell their stories. We've got some great ones today. Emerald jewelry, crystal Barbie dolls. Are you ready for this? So this real bargain comes from an online appraisal report where um, someone has submitted a photo to me for an online appraisal report. So she submits this photo and she says, Dr. Laura, I want to tell you what happened. I was on an online auction. I'm a doll collector. I'm trying to educate myself with your videos about antiques and more about dolls. And I saw this at an online auction. And the online auction listing said vintage Barbie and Ken doll. Okay, so I saw this piece and I thought, that's not a Barbie doll. <laughs> and there's a lot of reasons why. So a couple of things. I want you to think about these particular listings that might have mistakes because they can be the treasure hunter's dream mistaken listings and there's a load of them out there I'm going to teach people how to of course find them too so this is a great example this particular doll is not a Barbie doll at all she looks like a Barbie doll but she's not a Barbie doll she's a build Lily doll she's the German prototype for Barbie dolls she's an adult fashion doll and this particular doll has some characteristics that you should know so you can tell the difference between this and a Barbie doll. Now, granted, at first quick look, it looked kind of like a Barbie doll, but in fact, it was not a, it's not a Barbie doll at all. A Build Lily doll has a couple of things. Very straight legs that don't move. Also, pur pursed lips. So the lips are very red and very pursed, like, you know, almost like a fish. That's the other thing you look for. And then, of course, sometimes the eye color, there's no eye color in some of these. And also you can see, of course, the way in which the ponytail is done. It has an original parka and the original ski pants. It's a very good example of this late 1950s German doll. And these dolls were the dolls that, of course, um, Handler, who was the uh, progenitor of Barbie dolls, and Mattel looked at when they decided to make Barbies. Um, so this particular piece has soft hair, it has a composite body, and again, um, particular clothes that are typical to the Build Lily German doll. As I said, this doll comes from the late 1950s, and my um, online appraisal report did all the research for it, and when I sent it back to the person who submitted it, I said, so tell me, how much did you pay for this piece? And she said, I paid $15 at the online auction. Well, she got a real bargain because this Build Lily doll in this condition, which is excellent, is worth $5,000. That's right, $5,000. Another one had recently sold for $5,000. Hers was in just as good condition, same time period, same doll. They're very desirable, and that was a real bargain based on a mistake. Look for those listing mistakes. This next real bargain is about jewelry. That's right. Did you see my bracelet? It's really big and heavy. <laughs> but it's costume. And this next real bargain comes from a video call, and it's not costume. Uh, this is from an online auction. So my video caller called me and said, Dr. Lori, I bought a couple of rings, and I want you to tell me about this particular ring. This ring has an inverted teardrop shape. It's an inverted piece. It also has 40 diamonds and a central emerald. And the emerald is relatively clear. Most emeralds are not all that clear. So she bought this at an online auction. She said, I don't know if I paid too much for it, but I really liked it and I wanted it for myself. The setting is gold. There are 40 diamonds and that nice, large, central, and relatively clear emerald. As I said, emeralds are not, oh, emeralds can be somewhat cloudy. That isn't one of the, that's one of the criteria of emeralds. And some people would say, oh, it's a cloudy stone. But in fact, emeralds are known to be relatively cloudy, particularly those from Colombia and other places. But the very, very sharp, clear emeralds um, are very desirable. And that's what you have here. It's in beautiful condition. It's a very nice ring. The style of the ring is vintage, probably from the 1970s or 1980s. All of the diamonds have been tested, and the emerald was also tested on the Presidium gemstone tester. So this particular one is really beautiful. And I said, so how much did you pay for it? She said, well, you know, I know that the... Um, I know that the, the seller probably knew what they had because they wanted $400 and I was able to get them down to $310. So they asked more, she negotiated them down to 310, 
which is a lot of money for a piece like this as well. However, it's still a real bargain for a couple of reasons. The diamonds are important. They're all relatively good quality. Um, and also the emerald is really a nice piece. The gold setting, relatively heavy, so there's some weight to the gold. That's important too. And as I said, this piece dates to the late 1900s. Value on it, $1,200 for the ring. So at $310, she got a piece worth four times what she paid. So that's not too bad. Hey, this next real bargain, it's about something I talk about a lot, barware. Barware, one of those things you treasure hunters should be looking for. This particular real bargain came from a video call, and it, the items were purchased in a lot. There were a lot of 20 glasses, some crystal, some glass, and so forth. Um, my video caller said, bought them at an online auction. I bought the whole lot. Um, I saw the logo and the mark, and I knew that I should buy them, and um, I didn't pay that much for them. So I said, okay, so these particular pieces during the video call, I appraised them, and they're Ralph Lauren. Uh, the great American designer, of course, Ralph Lauren. They're his pattern known as the Glen Plaid pattern. They're crystal. They're old-fashioned glasses, you know, for the old-fashioned cocktail. So they're relatively squat. They're pretty good size. They're very functional. And she had in this lot of assorted miscellaneous 20 glasses and pieces of crystal, she had six. She had a, a set of six of these Ralph Lauren glasses. And she said, I knew they were good quality. They're in beautiful condition. I figured I could resell them, but I didn't know for how much. So I said, so how much did you pay for them? She said, about $1.15 per glass. Okay, so that's like six, seven, eight bucks for these six glasses. Let's call it eight, well, that's really like $7.50 for these particular glasses. For all six of them, she paid $7 and change. Pretty darn good, right? So I said, well, you know, the set of six desirable barware, buzzword, right, barware, um, $200 was my appraised value. So she got back to me. She said, thanks, Dr. Lori, for the video call appraisal. I really appreciate it. She got back to me a little while later, and she said, I sold them for your $200. I'm thrilled. Those, of course, crystal glasses by Ralph Lauren brought her $200 based on my appraisal. This next real bargain comes from an online appraisal report. So uh, she's, this, this particular treasure hunter, one of you, uh, sent in an online appraisal request with a photo. And when I saw this photo, I thought, oh, because I love pets. I love animals. I think they're wonderful. So this is a cat. And I thought, oh, this is so pretty. Look how cool this is. So this is a cat or a gatto, if you will. And the reason why I'm telling you about the about the Italian name word for cat is because it's going to be relatively important. Um, this particular piece was a thrift store find, and my online appraisal report submission, the person who submitted this, said, hey, Dr. Laura, you know, I want you to take a look at this because I'm not really sure about it. It is marked, and it has a very, a very straightforward mark on it. It's cast ceramic. It has polychrome flowers, polychrome, many colors, polychrome, right? So it has polychrome flowers, so they are, of course, not hand-painted, but they are placed on in a manner that's mechanical, right? As a characteristic black tail of a designer named Piero Fornasetti. And Piero Fornasetti is a Milanese Italian designer of these figural sculptures. Very, very popular in the late 20th century. Now, Fornasetti always marks the pieces, and he marks those pieces. Fornasetti, Milano, made in Italy. The mark is on this cat. So this cat sculpture you can see right here. The flowers on it are very nice. It's in good condition. There's a couple of lost areas, but they're very minor. And, of course, that characteristic black tail is what a lot of people look for, that contrast between the white body and the polychromed or multicolored flowers, and then, of course, the black tail. Um, this piece is a nice piece. However, if you were to look for this piece and try to identify it, you would have to know the Italian word for cat because oftentimes it is not described as a cat sculpture. It's described as gatto, or basically the Italian word for cat. And it was very interesting because my 
uh, the person who submitted this said, I'm going crazy trying to get any information because I didn't realize what you taught me, Dr. Lurie, is I have to look for the actual um, language. I have to look for the word, the vocabulary word in that language of origin. So in this case, Italian. Um, in this case, it's 12 inches long. It's a significant sculpture. It's very nicely done. I said, so how much did you pay for it before I tell you what it's worth? She said, Dr. Lori, I paid $14.99 for that piece. And I said, well, I've got good news for you. Those pieces resell on the market today at $850. For your almost $15 investment, you got a piece worth $850 based on actual sales records. Meow. <laughs> This next real bargain comes from a video call. The video caller, he said to me, Dr. Laurie, I left work. I wanted these pa this painting. I wanted this painting. I left work early. I drove to the estate sale, and I wanted this painting. <laughs> I said, well, okay. M a man with a mission, you know. So he says to me, I don't know about the value, but I knew that I wanted to have this painting once I saw it uh, uh, advertised for the estate sale. Okay. So I said, so I'm looking at this painting during the video call, and I said, are you in the Toledo, Ohio area? He said, yes, I am. He said, that's where I got it. I said, okay, and here's why. George Thompson Pritchard is the artist who painted this painting. It's signed. You can see the signature here, characteristic of his signatures. The frame is of that same time period, the early years of the 20th century, the 1900s, and it's a very nice landscape painting oil on canvas. And if you look at it as the characteristics of American landscape paintings that I've taught you, uh, of course, that idea of peaks and valleys, where, of course, the trees go up and your eye goes down, and also the idea of you coming into the picture plane from the bottom, in this particular case, on this waterway, this little stream, move your eye into the middle of the canvas visually. So my video caller said to me, yeah, Dr. Lori, you know, I have upped my game since I've been watching your videos. I know what to buy. I'm starting to understand this. I'm really excited now. And I said, well, I think that's great. I said, I, li I told him I like the frame. I like the composition. I like the condition of the painting. And the frame is quite nice. It's wood composition matter and, of course, gold leaf. It's gilded. So the frame alone is pretty good. Now, it, it is 29 by 39 inches, so it has significant size, right? It's a pretty good size piece. And I said, so tell me what happened. He said, well, I was standing there. The estate sale guy was there. I'm looking at it. Some other guy is there looking at it, con considering buying it. And I pulled the estate sale guy over, and I said, I'll give you $450 for it. He said, I'm asking $900. He said, I'll give you $450 for it. So this was his negotiation tactic. He's like, I'm just going half price. That's it. I'll give you $450. He got out a sold sign. He put sold next to it, and it was mine for $450. I said, you did great. That is wonderful. Excellent job. He said, what is it worth, Dr. Lori? I said, it's worth $10,000. So $10,000 for your $450 investment excellent job. I told you about art. I told you the return on investment is very good, and I'll teach you more right here on Real Bargains. I'm Dr. Lori, the PhD Antiques Appraiser. This is Real Bargains. I hope you find your real bargain real soon.